हेलो टू ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट सो यर आई एम बैक विथ माई टेस्ट ऑन चैप्टर हीट फ्रॉम फिजिक्स एंड दिस टेस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास एट हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू अप्रोच टू दिस टेस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई रन द क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑन योर स्क्रीन क्वेश्चन बाई क्वेश्चन दिस टेस्ट कैरीज थर्टी मार्क्स वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज दैट आफ्टर एवरी क्वेश्चन यू विल पॉज द वीडियो एंड पॉज दैट क्वेश्चन एंड यू विल राइट द आंसर फॉर इट एंड वंस यू हैव रिटर्न द आंसर यू कैन रिस्टार्ट योर वीडियो एंड देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विल पॉप अप ऑन योर स्क्रीन अगेन यू हैव टू रिपीट द सेम प्रोसीजर राइट योर आंसर बट मेक श्योर दैट यू राइट योर आंसर इन लेस देन फोर्टी फाइव सेकेंड and then again restart a video next question and complete the entire paper once the paper is over i'll come back and then we will discuss the answer and we will check your score also then what are we waiting for let's go i am pravin sonavne you are watching india's most reliable and relevant educational channel where you get best in class study material and video lectures do check the links in the description box yo I hope you are ready with your answer and you have rocked in your examination. It was very nice for you all. Now it's time to check our answers and find out what are our scores. So let's go. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes, Prisha, what are you doing here? Let me introduce this girl to you. She is Prisha, my daughter. What are you doing here? Even I have given this test and I enjoyed it a lot. And I also scored 30 on 30 in it. Yeah I know so what You take class after class every day so allow me to take this class Are you sure you can pull it off Of course I can I am 1000% sure Are you okay if this girl Prisha gives the answers for this test They are saying yes so I'll take a break and Prisha will continue from here on So now we will check our answers So let's move on to the first question The coefficient of linear expansion if the length of a rod is increased from L1 to L2 for the rise in temperature of T degree Celsius is dash. So value of alpha will be L2 minus L1 upon L1 into the original temperature. So we will move on to the next question, which is the temperature at which Water shows the maximum density is dash. So we all know the anomalous behavior of water, and water shows the maximum density at four degrees Celsius. 
Now we will move on to the third question of fill in the blanks. The amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius is known as calorie. This is another important definition in this chapter and you have to learn this no matter what. Now we will move on to the fourth question of fill in the blanks. The rate of evaporation slows down to the presence of dash in the air. So this is a very easy one. It is humidity. It is also correct if you write moisture. Humidity is the water present as the water vapors in the air and you cannot see it. If humidity is more, then the rate of evaporation slows down. Now we will move on to the fifth question of fill in the blanks. The coefficient of cubical expansion of water above 15 degrees Celsius is dash. So the answer is 3.7 into 10 raised to minus 4 degrees Celsius. This is another important value which you have to learn. So the next type of questions is true or false. If the statement is false, then we have to correct the statement. The process in which a liquid change into its gaseous state at any temperature above its boiling point is called evaporation. I know you did this right. The answer is false. The process in which a liquid changes into its gaseous state above its boiling point is known as boiling, not evaporation. Okay, so we will move on to the next question of true or false. Equal volumes of different liquids expand by same amount for a given rise in temperature. So the answer is false. Equal volumes of different liquids expand by different amount for a given rise in temperature, not the same amount. Now here we have our next question. All molecules of liquid take part in the process of evaporation. Again, this is a false statement. Boiling is a bulk phenomena in which all molecules take part in this process. So we will change the word evaporation into boiling. So here we are with another question and this one is actually quite tricky. Aluminium is seen to expand thrice as much as iron. So this is a false statement. The linear coefficient of aluminium is 24 into 10 raised to minus 6 degrees Celsius and the linear coefficient of iron is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 degrees Celsius. So here we have aluminium expands twice as much as iron not thrice. So here we are with the next question the extent of expansion is different in all solids. And this is a true statement. Here we don't need to write a reason because this is a true statement. Now we move on to the next type of questions which is choose the odd one out. So here we have been given alpha, beta, gamma and Kelvin. So this is a pretty easy one. The answer is Kelvin because others are the coefficient of expansion. Now we move on to the next question, the 12th question. Condensation, combustion, evaporation and sublimation. So this is also very obvious. The answer is combustion. Condensation, evaporation and sublimation are changes of states of matter. So here we are with the next question. Nature of liquid, presence of steam, presence of wind and presence of moisture. This is also a easy one. The answer is presence of steam. This is because others are the factors affecting evaporation. Evaporation depends on the nature of the liquid. Evaporation depends on the presence of wind and evaporation also depends on the moisture present in the air. The next question is degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, Kelvin and per Kelvin. So per Kelvin is the correct answer because degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit and Kelvin are units of temperature. Now this is the last question of choose the odd one out. Thermal expansion, linear expansion, superficial expansion and volume expansion. Thermal expansion is the odd one out. Linear expansion, superficial expansion and volume expansion which is the cubical expansion. They both are the same. These three have coefficient of expansion where thermal expansion does not have coefficient of expansion. Now we have to give one word for the following. The SI unit of coefficient of superficial expansion. Superficial expansion is the expansion in area and the SI unit is 
per Kelvin. Now the next question, the fixed temperature at which a liquid starts to boil is called the boiling point. Now we will move on to the next question which is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of water by 1 degree Celsius. Previously, we have seen a similar question like this, but in here we have 1 kg. So this answer will not be calorie, but it will be kilocalorie. Okay, so we will move on to the 19th question. 1 joule is equal to dash calorie, 0 0.24 calories. So here we have the 20th question. The degree of hotness or coldness of a body is known as temperature. Now we have a diagram given and we have to choose the correct option. So the correct option is option A. Solids expand on heating. So if we heat a metal ball, it will expand and it won't pass through the ring. Now we have been given a diagram again and we have to choose the correct answer. Brass expands more than iron on heating and thereby the strips bends. Iron expands more than brass on heating and thereby the strip bends. Brass and iron expand equally and thereby the strip bends. Brass and iron do not expand. Now again we will encounter linear expansion in this question. Brass expands more than iron on heating and thereby the strips bends. Now this is the last question of multiple choice. The coin falls due to expansion of air. The coin falls due to steam. The coin falls due to vibrations. The coin falls due to its expansion. So here the answer is A1. The coin falls due to expansion of air. Now we have to give reason. Drying of clothes take time during rainy season. The rate of evaporation decreases due to the presence of humidity present in the air. The air is already saturated with water, water and it cannot hold more water. So it water. gradually takes more time. Distinguish between boiling and evaporation on basis of heat supply. This is another easy question. So we know that boiling needs external heat and evaporation does not need that external heat. So here we move on to the last question of this worksheet. Here we have been given a passage and we have to identify the incorrect. So here we get the first incorrect which is decreased. We know that if the temperature of a substance increases, it results in the expansion of that substance. This property of matter is known as the thermal expansion. So here we have our second incorrect word. The molecules start vibrating at a faster pace, not slower pace. And they gain energy, not lose energy. Due to this, the intermolecular distance decreases, leading to the expansion of the substance. Most of the substances expand on cooling. Due to this, the intermolecular distance increases, leading to the expansion of the sub. Most of the substances expand on heating. A substance expands on heating and contracts on cooling. The last word which is incorrect is cooling. 